Okay, so Nice Hash now has a 100% LHR unlock miner out there called Quick Miner. And I uh, put out a video earlier just to announce it. A lot of YouTubers in the interwebs have done the same. It's news. It's maybe a game changer. Is it accurate? Nobody knows. We're going to all try it out. So I thought I would just run through it. I've already run through it once on a 3070 Ti just to make sure it works so I don't waste everybody's time. So let's just zip through it. If you've done miners before, it's pretty straightforward. It's almost a lot easier to run than, I'll, I'll be honest, than the other miners where you go in and you put all the settings in the batch file. But when anything is really easy and all that stuff, it comes at a price. But I don't know what the price is yet, but let's get going. So we have the great battle of 2022, the LHR unlock battle. Uh, first LOL miner entered the ring, then T-Rex stood up, and now Nice Hash. So we know T-Rex is going to come back probably in a week or so with a similar 100% unlock. I am a T-Rex fanboy. I think they're one of the best miners out there for the NVIDIA cards, but that's just me. So let's get rolling here. Um, so we got the LHR unlock. It is the quick miner and it only runs right now on Windows. They don't have a Linux version as of yet. So let's get rolling. You can go to nicehash.com, go to their download center or their blog and you'll get the link you need. So let's go ahead. And uh, we're going to do this test on a 3070 Ti. So we'll go down here. We're going to shoot for 81 mega hash. Right now with T-Rex Miner 0.25.15, I get about 64 mega, mega hash mining ETH hash. So let's see if we can get close to the 81. And we'll let it run for 24 hours. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Download Quick Miner. Try to keep this quick and short. Uh, let's see. You want to go to the nice hash quick miner right here. Download. And let's save it to your download directory. And it's not going to complain about any malicious stuff, right? Let's make sure. We are good. We got it. All right. Let's go and install it. Okay. Once you get the download, go ahead, click on it. And the nice hash quick miner install script will launch. Just go ahead and say yes. All right, where do you want to install this puppy? What you want to do here is say, uh, I just use the default directory, English, whatever your prefer preferred language is. Use the RC. This is the release candidate. This is what you want. So you make sure you click on the RC. You are at least 18. Okay. Let's see. Click and download and install. Okay, this is the key thing here. You're uh, going to first be asked, you have no Bitcoin address set. Please enter your nice hash mining address. Those are the key words. Nice hash mining address. Not your Bitcoin wallet address, but the, Bitcoin, uh, the mining address that you get when you set up your nice hash account. What is that? Where to find that? Go over here. Once you set up your nice hash account, you will have a dashboard. Once you have your dashboard, Go to mining tab and you'll have mining address. Click on that. Blammo. Just copy that puppy right there. That is your nice hash mining wallet address. Take that and paste it right here. So say OK. Let's do OK. I am going to name my rig. This is my uh, 3070 Ti which I just added on the copper thermal plate and the thing works like a champ and it's running nice and cool memory temps. Number nine, baby. Number nine is happy. All right, let's rock. So I'm going to say, okay, that is pretty much it. I mean, I give them credit. It's pretty painless. You just need your ethos mining address and your worker name blammo. And I'll show you what else you can do. Let's go. I'm just going to click start mining. And it's just going to come up in light mode. They have different mode settings when you run your rigs. And I'll show you that in a second. It's going to default to light, L-I-T-E. So there you go. It's running. But what can you do? Notice you got a little thing down here popped up on the, the uh, taskbar. What I always do is I keep this puppy pinned to launch it. But I may set it to start automatically too. But right now I'm just running test. All right. So if you click on this one right here, right there. 
Now you can quickly see right here, let's get a little more resolution for you guys. Way above what I've been getting with T-Rex reportedly, this is 75 out of the gate with me doing nothing. So 75.24 mining Ethereum at 178 watts. That's exactly the same power I'm getting with T-Rex 025.15. With T-Rex, I'm getting 64 mega hash on Ethereum. So according to their blog, let's go back to their blog. All right, go to the bottom of their blog. 3070 Ti should be getting uh, approximately 81 mega hash. So we're shooting, shooting for 81 mega hash. All right, this is exciting. All right, let's go to nine. All right, there it's running, right? Now you don't need to go and manually set overclocks unless you really want to play around. Nice hash seems to do this stuff for you, which again, if it's convenient and free, it's got to cost something somewhere. So take that in mind. I like to do everything myself, but this is like painless right now. I just click, uh, set two fields, click start, and it's mining, and I'm getting already 11 more mega hash. So let's go back to the um, nice hash dashboard. Ignore this one. That's an old one. This is my new rig. Cool. So by putting in that mining address right here, the dashboard and nice hash will, will uh, be able to recognize your rig because you're mining to it. It recognizes it. That's how it works. All right, click on go to rig manager. All right, my rig is Rocco Taco 9, mining 101, showing 58, which is good, 76 VRAM, very good. Used to be 106, 110, uh, ridiculous, until I added those copper uh, thermal plates. Made a huge difference, guys. Well worth the cost. Again, thermal pads. Those crappy thermal pads you pay 40 bucks for suck. Don't waste your money on thermal pads. All right, let's go. Speed is now 75.4 at 183. So again, the power is about the same. That's reported on the browser, right? I don't know how accurate that is until I plug in a wall meter to read what's actually coming out of that computer, out of that GPU on the wall. Okay, you have your rigs right here. Here is Rocco Taco 9. I'm mining at 5978 VRAM, which is very good. 75 on the hash. They are saying on their blog, I should be getting 81 approximately. So we will see if we can get there. I am running in light mode. That's by default. So you can go over here, click on the light pull down, select more. All right, it's going to expand it, right? Because you could have. Um, multiple things on here so let's see oh it's picking up my drivers on that pc i was going why does it show this it's picking up my cpu that's interesting so i could also also do cpu mining you go down here and you pick the uh select the pull down select high blammo and that's all you do now what you can do is go back over to the uh console You'll see this, you'll see it tweaked right there. See the output right there. It actually kicked it in. Yeah, right there, you saw the effect go through. Kind of like Hive OS, right? Except it share. Here we go. 80. Look at that. Blammo. So software-wise, display-wise, it's doing what it says in the blog. But under the hood, is it doing what it says? I can't, I can't tell you either way right now, right? So if we go back to the dashboard, dashboard. All right, we are at the dashboard. Look at that, 80, uh, 80 mega hash at 188 power. So when I would not set the lock core clock setting on T-Rex, and I just set the core clock and the memory and the power level, it would be high 180s, like 188. So that seems to be on par power-wise with what T-Rex did. So that's good, I'm happy with that. But until I hook something up to the wall to actually read what's coming out of the wall, I can't really, you can't really trust the software or the browser, right? Uh, let's see. So we're 100% uh, load. Temp went up a little bit, which is interesting. Power's up a little bit now. Okay, got a little hotter burning in high mode, but I'm getting the, uh, I'm getting the uh, 80 mega hash. So it's a power versus a couple more mega hash. So you got to weigh the efficiency there. So if we go back to light, 
let's see how much power it drops in mega hash. So we're at 80 and 190. Let's go to medium. All right, let's see what happens. We run from high at 190, 80 to medium, and we'll see if this actually updates. Okay, it dropped down to 78.5 at 186. So you got to, and the efficiency is 0.42. Let's see if it drops any further. So 187.42 efficiency at 77. So that looks to be the medium. Let's go to light. So it dropped down to 75, 183 watts, and efficiency is 0.41. Let's let it run one more cycle and we'll go back up to high. Okay, it's holding at 75.38 at 183 watts, 0.41. Let's go back to high. Okay, so at the, at the high setting, we have 59 Celsius, 80 mega hash at 187 watts. I'm gonna leave it at high for the day and run a day test on this card, the 3070 Ti. Uh, nice hash is doing what it advertised it would do. So I'm just gonna see, and right now it says I'm gonna get three bucks a day. That may adjust accordingly because I just started this rig. Three bucks a day on a 3070 Ti. So we'll see. Uh, looks pretty good. Go check it out and let me know what you guys find out. I'm going to let it run just on one card, one rig for a day or two just to make sure it all works good and uh, maybe start moving some other rigs over. Yeah, because I do want to get paid out in Bitcoin. I will mine Ethereum until I can't mine it any longer, but I want to get Bitcoin payout. Okay, guys, I hope this helped. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Good luck.